This video will provide general application guidance on field application of bore wrap for use as an abrasion resistant outer wrap to protect the mainline coating of a pipeline. As with most coating systems, we begin with surface preparation. Bore wrap is a sacrificial arrow that is applied over the existing anti corrosion coating. For mainline applications, it is sometimes unfavorable to perform surface preparation along the entire length of the pipe that will be protected. When sanding or roughening of the existing coating is not feasible, it is recommended that the leading 3 to 6 feet of the pipe string is sanded to provide an anchor for an epoxy primer to bond to the surface. Since the full length of the pipe to be protected will not have surface preparation performed, it is key to create a strong anchoring point on the leading section of pipe for the remainder of the bore wrap to tie into. In this instance, we are applying the Denso Protol 7300, which is a moisture tolerant epoxy. The epoxy will increase the adhesive strength of the bore wrap on the leading section when it is applied wet on wet. We can apply the bore wrap directly onto a wet epoxy in this case because it is simply being used as a primer over an already existing anti-corrosion layer. Once the epoxy has become slightly tacky, begin the bore wrap application by wetting the surface of the area that the roll will be applied onto using a water sprayer. Water needs to be continuously sprayed onto the surface and underbelly of the roll as it is being applied. Note, there is no such thing as too much water in a bore wrap application. However, an insufficient amount of water can cause the product to cure very slowly and can inhibit the resin from flowing as it normally would. Begin wrapping the bore wrap one inch from the edge of the epoxy primer. Ensure that you are wrapping with the omnidirectional matting surface facing out as we call it, chop on top. The woven side of the fiber, looks like a checkerboard, is to be placed facing the surface of the pipe. Wrap the material circumferentially to begin, ensuring that the leading edge has a minimum of two layers. Then, proceed along the length of the pipe, wrapping with a minimum of 50% overlap. Ensure the wrap is completely saturated as it is being applied. Bore wrap cures best at temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. When conditions are below that, external heating methods can be employed before the application, including using hot water. Conditioning the rolls by storing them in higher temperatures can also be helpful. To ensure the water doesn't freeze during installation or curing, a mixture of ethylene glycol or propylene glycol may be added up to 50% with the water. When one roll is completely wrapped, continue saturating the roll while preparing the next. To continue the roll, place it in the same width that the previous roll finished and overlap the ends by 6 inches. Then continue to spirally wrap along the length of the pipe. While these members of the crew continue with the saturation and wrapping of bore wrap, two more people will begin the application of Denso Poly Wrap. The poly wrap should be applied quickly and with strong tension in order to compress the layers of bore wrap together and encourage the resin to flow. To ensure the ends lay flat and the resin can be retained, overlap the starting and trailing edge of the previous roll by a few inches on each side. Two to three passes with the Denso poly wrap should suffice. Once fully compressed, use the Denso perforating tool to puncture the poly wrap. This will allow for excess resin, moisture, and CO2 from the reaction to escape. Perforate using enough pressure to get through the Denso poly wrap, but not through the layers of bore wrap. This wrapping process can continue repeatedly until a stopping point is reached. Once a stopping point is reached, the final roll of bore wrap should be applied and finished with one wrap circumferentially so that it ends with fiber on top of fiber. Never leave a single layer of bore wrap hanging from the back.
When finished compressing with polywrap and perforating, allow the roll to remain under compression while it cures. Resin may have escaped through the perforations. That resin is a fair indicator of the material's dry to touch time. Because pipeline construction timelines are often uncertain and bore wrap has limited UV stability, it is recommended that the poly wrap remain in place until the pipe is ready to be installed. When the material has fully cured, the Denso poly wrap may be removed. Cure can be checked by using a shore D gauge on a high point of the resin. Avoid measuring near ridges and fibers as the gauge tip can move. The product is ready to be used at a shore D of 65 or 